What's going on guys, Brett here today, and today we're going to be reacting to the next part in Scribbler's little uh, April 1st series. A Better Love Story Than Twilight 4, Elethornication, Part 5 of 6. Okay, I am fully aware that I make a cameo appearance in this. Uh, one of the artworks uh, was tweeted on Twitter by Scribbler. I think it was the thumbnail if I'm not mistaken. And I appear at the bottom uh, looking a little whiz Dow. I, I don't know. But I really don't know where the story is going at this point. Like, I really have no clue where the story is going. It's been a while since I actually reacted to part four, so I can't really remember exactly what happened. I remember they were going down, they were going in a hot air balloon, ran to Steve Magnet, and then, I'm trying to remember, uh, they were getting shot at by some random pony that basically they were getting towards the castle i don't remember anything else then they got into the castle then ended and apparently pinkie pie and Rimadash decided to join in too there's some really good jokes in that one but i don't really know what to expect this one's longer than the other ones that's what she said but anyways um so i don't really know where this is going i saw a few of the artworks but i didn't really try to pay attention to them because i want to be surprised so i don't know what to expect honestly i don't so let's do this um yeah three two one go that is loud in my ears also thank you scribbler for putting that because there is flashing imagery uh at the beginning of this there is flashing imagery <clears throat> right there I can't look at that that's gonna trigger a seizure one of these times I gotta be careful hopefully she I don't know where I don't know but anyways okay I have no idea where the story is going at this point So, part five. Also, Scribbler said that she is working her hardest. She is determined to get this done before Month of Macabre or something. Like that. Fuck. Of course, she's swearing. Crap. Trotting next to her, Midori asked. Midori. still trying to get this story demonetized? I've got the... <laughs> no, at this point, I'm just venting. I'm yep. starting to understand why the power mad book pony hates this time of year. Yep. Compared with the previous Aprils. Pinkie Pie grinned. We haven't even had an impromptu song number about sandwiches made from unmentioned bodily discharges yet. Fuck. Uh, Mommy hissed. Okay then. <laughs> okay if then. Anyone starts singing about sperm hot dogs or menstrual milkshakes, I quit. The Pinkie fuck? <laughs> Hanks, do not make that joke. I'm Please. I'm warning you. I can already tell what joke you want to make. And I'm telling you, do not make that yeah, joke. Yeah, let's not. <laughs> let's not. Pinkie Pie shut her mouth. Spoil sport. How are you okay with making lewd jokes? Spoil but sport. First time I've ever heard that before. Because that's not And I'm not answer. joking. Let's just check in the mic levels to make sure they're okay. Is not, is so, is oh not, my god. Is so, is not, is so, we get it. Is not, is so. Aren't canon characters supposed to be well-rounded, developed, yeah. interesting, yeah. and not annoying? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> oh, getting such a migraine. I oh yeah, that's right. She, um... Wait, where's Cloud? Where's Cloudy? Might be behind him or something like that. I don't like know. Steve suggested, or are we literally just gonna wait? We're just going in problem. with no plan. Well, the oh, there she is. Said yeah, she's exhausted from using magic Steve's to teleport back, into the castle. Slightly squelchy Valkyrie. Her legs she still looks too exhausted. To if we could just get Magpie or Scribbler free, we can <laughs> use their magical author powers to fix everything. Excuse me. <laughs> Simple. Yeah. Simple. Rainbow Dash didn't invest her tone with much conviction. 
Well, it worked every other time. I don't see why uh, it wouldn't now, too. Cloud? Or not cloud, uh, panda, calm down. Did not compute with her Calm your shit. Appearance. <laughs> this is why she's so angry is because they uh, kidnapped uh, well, pony napped uh, Luna Farrell, which is their spook mom. Steve. Which way now, Pinks? At Dash's question, use your pinky sense. Hair sproinked to the left. Or the magic command. Oh, super, we're almost there. I can feel it. Great. Wonderful, my dear. I'm coming, Gooby. That's what she said. Even though you're technically a she. Panda, use your inside voice. Yeah, please. I still don't know what it is with um. Uh, with Panda's character. Does anyone think it's weird that Thornquill knows we're here and uh -huh. hasn't chased us or? Uh huh. I was hoping that somebody would talk about that or bring that up. Library. Anything holy cockwaffles. Cockwaffles. Everyone stared. And stared. And stared some more. And then, just for variety, they stared some more. Okay. okay. And she stared and stared and stared and we stared. Maybe absolutely fucked. And not in the good way. No, it's pink pinky no. Bad adult <laughs> Oh, shit. As I suspected, there was no need for me to chase you when you're all so brainless. You made your way right yeah, to there where you go. I wanted yep. you. I've got you right where I want you. Jesus Christ. As one, the entire group jumped in the air and turned around, which resulted in a slippery, slidey sort of thump from Steve. And a yelp from Cloudy on his back. Thornquill stood in the doorway, okay. resplendent in his dictatorial decorations, and wreathed in a I really like the artwork too. Black magic Kudos to the artist. That made everyone's fur puff out like it's angry, they look like a uh, strangely adorable cats. They look like a uh, uh, oh god. Mommy murmured, patting down the yellow Fluffle chest. Fluffle that's the name of the character. <laughs> Time. Thornquill's oh, Thorn Quill, stop! Pinky screeched. My ear out. To bring even him to a stop. This isn't how it's supposed to go. Nope. What? To be perfectly honest, well, who's that in the background? Quill's expression of befuddlement, which was at the complete odds of his evil villain I, head. I don't know who that is. I can't. So adorable. I can't do. A few pigeons on the roof fell off. Oh, it's a pigeon. Sheer sense of aww. You're supposed to monologue your plan to us and tell us what's going on and fill in all the blanks. What the, the hell? The story closely enough, None book main characters, okay. Stuff online, are able to appreciate the big final confrontation. Thorn wow, this got meta real quickly. No. Thanks! Rainbow whooshed into the line of fire. Oh, sh later, crap. Well, book flopped the now, now Reba Dash is really a book horse. Oh, dear God, that was a horrible joke. Her go fast is. The multicolored font reading Rainbow Dash glowed for a moment. She is a book. Into place. Pinkie Pie burst into tears. Rainbow! Chip! I'm Wait, I'm getting author. Pinky Tell's really flashbacks going to adhere to cliches that with, uh, with Pinky my plans? I'm not with a syndrome. trying Can to remember get a jet engine in here to suck with basically Pinky being Everybody doing the same scared. thing with Applejack. Mommy tackled a That's what I mean. Pinkie Pie and dodge rolled behind a bookcase. Why did this get dark all of a sudden? <laughs> yeah, this is just like her with Applejack. <laughs> Call it a subversion of expectations. Thornquill grinned. Have you read Heteropaternal Superfecundation? I'm good what? at those. I don't even know what those words mean. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, neither do most of my readership, but they still upvoted it 78 to 3. I'm sorry, but are we seriously having this conversation right now? Thornquill, let every pony go already. This is beyond a joke. 
And yeah. Who are you again? The click of oh, you jerk. <laughs> stone slabs made mommy retreat further into the teeming stacks, dragging Pinkie Pie behind her. Because it seems to me like this is very much the B team, since you know I already took out every pony. Else. A team pun, really? Confidence as an unexpectedly pants shittingly scary villain is not up for debate. Good. Oh. Very good effects, by the way. And a cry from Steve, followed by a well, I actually don't really know. It, it also could be a transition because in the art. there is no debate. Oh my Steve! god, the... Cloudy cried. You didn't even get to serve any narrative purpose. Was the author asleep at the wheel when she wrote you into the story? Ugh, um... Falling! Ouch! Big sister Cloudy. Ugh, get away, Panda! Oh, how cute. Cute. <laughs> I'm not saying it because if I say it, Cloud will rip my head off. It sounded like something out of a nightmare and made everyone, including the author, wonder when and why the narrative decided to turn so legitimately dark all of a sudden. Yeah, thank <laughs> you, the Wilstonator. This got really dark real quick. Won't save you. Get behind me, Panda. No, you get behind. I'm not saying it. No, I'm not saying it. No, you get behind Oh my god, me. you two. No, you get behind me. No, you. And now it's annoying. <laughs> Mommy peeped out in time to see Cloudy ignite her own horn and throw a bookcase at Thornquill. Oh, okay. and she Whoa. took the opportunity to grab Panda and make a mad dash for cover, since he was between them and the exit. Thornquill what the bleep is later, that? Books exploding off of him like what in the world is that actions. even supposed to be right there? I'd be careful throwing these books around. They are, after all, your friends and family. What the that fuck? <laughs> Mommy fumbled as a book bound in black. <laughs> yeah, they don't know about the book. Pink and blue text the Holy the Grail of Scrib. Oh my god. Scribbler. Possessed of sudden desperate hope. She grabbed and opened it to find half the pages empty and the other half filled with neatly typed print detailing the life and times of a fanfic author and narrator that culminated with her hiding in a hotel room in Trottingham before <laughs> being ambushed and turned into a book. Basically her role in this story. Oh, fuck, fuckness. Mommy, is that you reading me? Oh god. Words That's actually pretty disturbing. Magic. Mommy blinked. Uh... Yes. Yeah? Holy shit, what the bloody hell are you doing here? Well, good question. Was me, Midori, Panda, Cloudy, Pinkie Pie, You didn't Panda, have a plan. And, uh, Steven Magnet for for some reason coming to save you guys, but uh Mommy looked over her shoulder to the We kind of had a we kind of stormed him with no plan pretty much. Thornquill chuckled. <laughs> Kind of all went to Tartarus in a tube top, and now the plan is just to not die. That sounds depressingly familiar for April. Tell me about it. Yep. Next year, I am totally vacationing for this entire fucking month. Tried that, didn't work. Now I'm a sentient book. <laughs> and she's surprisingly okay with this. Sentient? Yep. Can't talk, move, or do anything remotely useful. And we're all trapped on shelves in alphabetical order, but we're still capable of thought and emotions. And oh, hey, I should be somewhere in that area. Around us. We just can't do anything about it. Sweet Celestia, that is excessively horrifying. Exactly. <laughs> legitimately terrifying threat Equestria, whatever face would be thorn quill. I know, right? Uh, hey, Scribs, it's fun chatting and all, but, uh, what the bitch tinning fuck are we supposed to do now? How do we stop Thornquill's mad rampage? Good question. That, do you think I'd be a sentient book right now? <laughs> Scribbler's outrage was indicated by yeah, the that's production of bold a good text point. that glittered faintly at the edges. Fucking touche. Mommy grumbled. Cygnus alicornified Thornquill in the first place. Though Thorny turned on him, so I think at this point he's already paying a high price for I didn't realize that's kind of a very relative to, or related to, like, you know. And where is Cygnus now? Shelved under cosmic horror. 
Mommy looked up to see the aisles of Thornquill's library. You need to follow the Dewey Decimal System. Signposted by genre. Of course, horror just happened to be on the other side of the whole room. <laughs> because, of course, it was. Take me with you. Tucking Scribbler's Take book me under with one you. Wing, mommy entreated Pinkie Pie to stay put and started trying to ninja her way along the bases of the bookshelves. The problem with being a bright lemon colored horse, however, uh -huh. is that it makes ninjing incredibly difficult as you uh -huh. stand out like a lemming drowning in a vat of molasses. Isn't she? Oh no, she's just drinking. Found you. Thorn Not filmed. happening. Fucking 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 I'm Run. Toast. Run, she run, run, trot, trot, trot. Thornquill's blast of magic hit where her hind hooves had been milliseconds before. Oh, Guys, good question. If any of you are listening, Scribbler says to find Cygnus's book. Mommy shouted at the top of her lungs. Cosmic horror, hurry! Cosmic Mommy. horror. Cloudy shouted. I'll oh yeah, these two are still around. I thought they were captured. Too much magic. Cloudy's response was to totally ignore Panda and teleport anyway. Got it. She yelled, How was she still standing? Falling on her face again. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I was wondering why is she not nauseated again? Or not nauseated, but you know what I mean. Uh, Cloudy's outline flickered. A green line of magic traveled up her exhausted body, enveloping it in a sickly fire and revealing the truth beneath. Thought. She's a changeling? You're a changeling? Wow. Good question. I actually That's did know such this, but. Cliched, Pony Sona. I'd swear it's 2012. Yep. <sighs> That's a good question. That's a good point. Book from her nerveless grasp. What is. I like it. I like this concept art. Something glowing Whoa. with iridescent purple fire cannon into him. She, also, she was also holding something. I didn't, didn't catch that. A thorn quill shaped indentation added itself to the library's already gothic decor. He mm -hmm. grunted, looking up at the suddenly much taller pony looming over the prone unicorn. Oh, that's that's cloudy. Or not cloudy, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's uh You're still panda. Criminy Christmas. Uh what is she holding? So that means the panda's a changeling. You're a changeling too. Thornquill coughed. <coughs> but wait, changelings don't eat meat. The um... thing that was once panda grinned, revealing serrated fangs and a forked tongue. Her glowing eyes did not stop glaring. You do hatred. not mess with my friend. Oh, great. Just fucking great. Also, duty head, is that seriously the best you could come up with? Duty head, if I heard that correct. Panda's reply was an unearthly howl and Ow. a blast of her own magic from her newly revealed horn. Thornquill, in Ooh, Dragon Ball Z vibes here. Style, unleashed his own raw magical blast, and the two bright, brilliant beams of beautiful, bullheaded brute force clashed. I'm getting season four flashbacks, well, season four finale flashbacks, and I'm also getting back. Dragon Ball Z out. You know. You know what I mean. Both dug their hooves in so hard what is that? Them cracked and uh, I see A, H, fun, F, U, U. Mommy was thrown backwards by the backflow of wind. An I don't know what that's supposed to be. Fight. This author seriously wrote in an anime fight. <laughs> what the actual fuck? <laughs> Thank you. The scribbler's book fell to the floor, pages flipping wildly. More books fell around her. Lines oh, dear of God. curses scrawling across their pages in silent terror. Mommy caught sight of a few as she tried to stop herself from becoming street pizza. Uh, Goody, this is still your fucking fault. This is That's okay. It. Thorny is totally off my heart swarming card list this year. Ah, my precious cousin baby. Ah. Mommy lost her grip on the floor and went spinning into a plinth, which smashed all. I couldn't her tell head. who the voices ah. all were, but ow. That's it. That had to hurt. I officially hate you all. I hate all of this, and I especially hate the entire fucking concept of April 1st 
and how it has made me its butt monkey. Yes! Yeah, the thorn quill gave a yell. Putting on an extra burst and slammed Panda to the ground in the magical equivalent. Yeah, okay, I saw. I, I, I get what he means because eyes wild. it's in a yes! blooper where this makes sense. Because kind of he said that his like character was devoted, was uh, basically Finally! reduced to shrieking and crying Somebody or something like that. That's it, why he's what? acting this he way. Oh god, are we gonna have the cliche like so villain tries to persuade good guy thing? This time of year, it's those eyes. So damn awful. <laughs> Join me, and we bad. will destroy so Apelverse. He loomed, smile stretching literally from ear to ear. Yikes! When did this become a dark uh, horror story? <laughs> Good question. Mommy, transfixed like a deer in headlights struggled to respond in some way that would diffuse the situation in the safest manner possible. The only trouble was that being stared down by a deranged alicorn with the power to turn you into a sentient book and keep you in his library for the rest of your painful, unholy existence... My god, that was a long sentence. ...every single piece of dialogue from your brain with the psychological equivalent of a flamethrower. And so Mommy, fumbling for something to say, fell back on her old and trusted friend. Uh, bitch? Words appeared in Scribbler's book. Okay. Well, bollocks. Well, bollocks. Roared in outrage. This Excuse me. Is not how it's supposed to go. I forgot that Pinky was even part of this. Him and mommy like a neon bullet. But if any pony can stop it, she could. Because she can break through the fourth wall. I refuse to let the literary cycle dictate what I do! Thornquill screamed back. With a zing and a pop, a sugary pink book smacked onto the pile. Wow, that was an easy defeat. Red and silver edges. Red and silver edges. pile with what could only be described as a sad plop. Coming to rest on a gray paperback emblazoned with a soundbar cutie mark. Papa Cootie! Panda shrieked. She struggled to get to her feet, only to be held down even firmer by Thornquill's rampant magic. <sighs> get your paws off my sister! Cloudy slurred groggily. You are. Someone's gonna have to so save the day. Annoying! Thornquill snarled. All I wanted was some peace and quiet at this time of year. But could I get it? No. You creatures couldn't let me have that one simple thing. It's I really like the artwork. The well, the artwork for this is fantastic so far. It's the same, and I am sick of it. <coughs> I am sick of being the butt of everyone's jokes. I am sick of being dragged into these stupid, immature, ridiculous shenanigans! I'm also getting flashbacks to a Silent Ponyville 2 because he voiced, uh, uh, oh gosh, Fluttershy's father. April, and to not be its butt monkey. Well, if you won't give me peace and quiet voluntarily... I'll take it from you! His horn well, shit. Cloudy and Panda vanished, replaced by bookish versions of themselves. I'll just take peace and quiet by force. You absolute cockhead. Mommy hurled Mommy's the only one left. Plinth at him. You shit brain, pencil dicked, arrogant fuck tit. He spun the face. Some of freaking and some of the dialogue for her. Mommy braced oh, herself, grabbing the first thing that came to hoof and holding it in front of her like a shield. Doesn't After she have, like, books said, for, like, well, then again, they're understand. her friends. So, I, w I wouldn't do that. And so you can join them. <laughs> what the, the voice hell? That boomed through the ruined library was Enough. Not a voice. It was not even a changeling voice. What is it this? whirled and swirled and created an audio vortex that drove into their ears and demanded they pay attention in a way Mommy hoped to never hear again. So, of course, it spoke again a second later. Put my gooey down! 
me Dory? Mommy so Oh, um her. uh Is that you? Oh. An ink necklace on a broken chain clattered to the floor. Followed swift. Yeah, Midori was kind body. of the Fluttershy character of the mix. Gigantic paws, so, each as big as a pony, What the hell? themselves against the impact, claws unsheathed. The powerful Whoa. muscles that bunched and writhed in absolute fury were only slightly less terrifying than the gargantuan. Okay, now I'm just getting freaking uh, Power Pony flashbacks when Fluttershy turns into the Hulk. Spread wings. One of the paws swiped out, snatching the Holy green book crap. Ori had been using as a shield out of her hooves. Well, I recognize that. That's the... A sphinx? The... Yeah, a sphinx. They're supposed to be extinct! His brows drew together. This shitty time of year strikes again! Ugh! Midori I is a sphinx? I really do. I tried to be understanding. Yep, yeah, uh, Midori's the one that's like the Fluttershy character. They're silent and nice until you piss them off. You've done the absolute unforgivable. The giant green sphinx leaned forward. The you hurt my Gumi and you made Pinky cry. Thornquill. What was the name? What was the name of? Gumbasa. That's it. You think puny pony magic can affect me when I'm like this? <laughs> you are sadly he fired mistaken. Off book spell. She caught it in midair, turned it Sorry, into a glowing bow tie, and threw it back at him. What the? Okay, if you're gonna side, defeat him, do it now. <laughs> become a great tome labeled. But considering there's one part to go, I have no idea what is going on. Wine and moan and gripe. And bellyache and kvetch and news oh, about help. wanting ponies to not drag you into April shenanigans. But look around you, Thornquill. You caused all the shenanigans this year. No pony else was doing Thank you. <laughs> even remotely shenanigans until you came along and caused Wow, the did not see this so coming. Much, you have literally become what you hate most. You have become so, the monster that you never I... wanted to become. What? He said in a small voice. You're the one perpetuating a cycle of shenanigans. Is that really what you wanted? Holy crap, I... that is sinister. But... But they... No. I... Of course not. Wow, they artist. Kudos. Jesus mother, you fuck did you transform half of Equestria into books and stuff them in your library? Was that really necessary? Really? Because it seems like overkill to me. Could you not have, I don't yeah, know, it is overkill. A pocket dimension with blackjack and hookers and put the other narrators into it Very overkill. Few days, or sent them off to Disneyland for a long weekend. You're an alicorn now, somehow. There had to be other options than torturing everyone by turning them into self-aware paperbacks. I... I... The... Thornquill the truth comes out. The verge of tears. Some of them are hardbacks. Seeing That's what she said. Seeing a sphinx's expression suddenly melt into something akin to motherliness. That is freaking terrifying. Thought. Come on now, Thornquill. It's time to put this right. Put it. You mean put to make things right back to normal? A yep. Ignited deep in Thornquill's eyes. Mommy did not like the look of it one bit. Uh-oh. Revert things to the status quo? No character growth? No lasting change? Just back to the way things were, like always? Well, that's not quite how I would have put it. What the hell? Okay, now Mom what the hell has going on? Ears at Thornquill's unholy wordless screech. She instinctively curled into a ball as the blast of raw, unmitigated, furious power that radiated off him sent a radius of crushing wind towards her and everything else in the room. Oh, oh dear. Crap. Not again. Not again. <laughs> she slammed That's Sickness's bookshelf. book. Several books following suit. I don't know Making who that is like on the nightmare nightmare on her leg. Scribblers behind her. 
the view of Midori and Thor I'm trying to look at every cameo here, see if I can recognize all of them. I see Scribbler, I see Sickness. What the bleep is that monstrosity? Lessons must be learned. Well then, call me teacher, because I'm about to school your ass. Ah, oh, me Dory. Yeah, I don't know who that is on her leg. Uh, probably someone I don't know very well. I see a red, white, and black book. I recognize that character's kid. Oh, who is that? Brian Random VA? Very well could be. What does that say? Mommy, look down. Itch. I am so not cut out to be the heroic type. The book in front of her glimmered briefly. Are any of us? Yep, really? that's Cygnus. Mommy glanced at the cover. Well, fuck a duck. Cygnus! Fuck a duck. Scribbler said you'd know how to stop all this madness? If I knew how to stop it, do you think you'd be bending my spine and bunching my pages the way you are right now? <laughs> also, stop doing that. I'm a library book. You have to take better care of me. Oh, bitch tits. It strikes me that you don't actually need me to do anything, however. Say what? Say what now? Overhead, I can't read what that says, but oh man. A barrage of thunderbolts that made the whole castle shudder. If they weren't careful, they were going to bring down the whole place. Holy with mommy moly. And the booked out ponies still inside. Well, you're yeah, now I'm definitely artist, getting Dragon you? Ball Z Not flashbacks. Sure how you know that, oh, she yes. is an artist. And that helps me not be killed or transformed and consigned to a living hell of being a sentient book. How? As master of the archives, I know a great many things, my dear. Like the power of meta logic, for example. What? And the magic of creativity in a world where the authorial power of the written word can and has save the day. Don't you think an artist might have some degree of sway in that sort of world? Well, fuck me. That's good. That's but very I creative. I like that. Equipment or anything. I refuse to believe you don't have at least one pencil on you. Well, yeah. That was a Dragon Ball Z one. I heard that in the background. Good equipment. They're just my emergency pencils. And Who cares? It's something. Emergency. Yeah, there you go. This is clearly an emergency. And hit Thornquill with it. It exploded in a shower of bricks and burned wood. It was the most Holy spectacular off-screen battle Equestria had ever not witnessed. Touche. Also, you're kind of a smug asshole, aren't you? Every pony forgives me because of the voice. Yeah, I can understand that. First time I heard you, I turned straight for a few seconds. It was weird. Wow. Get down. Also, why is she missing a tooth? Midori through a wall and flew out after her. If I may be so bold as to suggest you hurry the fuck up. Yeah, but I thank don't you. Have any paper. Mommy realized uh, yes, you do. <laughs> you have plenty. So hard it literally says the context in the book. Fine, fine. They're not but context dialogue. Remember, this was your idea. Quickly, here Mommy we go. To draw on Cygnus's book. It was the work of a moment to etch an angle. That is awesome. In full regalia in flight above the rough penciled wreckage of the library. Then, very carefully, she rubbed out his horn. <clears throat> what the hell? She heard him shout. What the so hell is going on? With... She added a ball and chain to each of his hooves. Oh my god, that is so ah! OP. What is going on here? You are what being you defeated. Me? I'm not doing this. With a few quick strokes of her pencil. This is so anime type her. artwork too. What the? Where did this cage come from? Out of sheer shit posting temptation. Uh oh, I hope mommy doesn't become like overpowered with like magic or something like that. Then a sign saying, do not feed. Okay, now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Seriously, I'm not doing this. That's funny. The external threat temporarily. She's literally making a comic right now. That's a cloud. 
sketching see out that. four panels and roughly depicting the image of a book. I can't read what it says in the other book. The odd slurping sound made her look up. What in the name of all hey, that Scribbler. probably just happened? I feel like I just vomited up a dictionary, then ate it again. Good then question. Back up. Hi, Scribbler. Mommy? Can't talk. Busy saving the day. Mommy sketched out more <laughs> boxes. More slurping noises ensued. Hey. I'm me. Goody. Hello, me. Of course. I feel like you've Wooten? made this joke before, dude. Papa Goody! I think that's, uh, Cloud, or... That was Cloud or Panda 1, 2. Oh, hey, Luna. My dear, sweet, demonic babies. Not saying it. Shit, fuckering titties. Lost narrator, uh, pitch. Read. Just read. Sorry, Flame? We're getting rid of every fucking no, that's Mac. own in our home, okay? <laughs> Is that Midori's Ankh on the floor? Oh, boy. Thanks. Rainbow Dash. Pinkie Pie. Finally. Mommy pushed Maine from her eyes and shook out her forelimb. Okay, Johnny Fireflame. Suddenly, very full. I appear right here at the bottom. Pitch, Rainbow Dash, Panda, and Luna hovered. <laughs> the chuntering, milling crowd there I am, right at the bottom. And unicorns. There was much. I look so freaking kissing, like what the hell just, just happened? Sitting down to take stock of what the hell was going. I can't on. name all who's here, go. but know the majority of it. Oh, it's a party. Steve cried, clapping his hands joyously. Did we save the day? Is it time to celebrate now? The narrators uh, looked up. I wouldn't like say that. Puppies watching a ball be raised for a good throw. Johnny Fireflame. I don't know who that is about. Johnny. And hey, Kate Bug. He's hugging a couple of changing queens, and we're in a busted ass castle surrounded by books named after bronies. I swear I follow on Twitter. What the fuck <laughs> happened when you're out? Do you really want the answer to that question? Chaotic asked. Oh, okay, like, uh, nope. Some pony get me out of here. The Don thin quell. From outside caused everyone to still as though someone had hit a giant Oh, that's mommy's, uh, girlfriend? No pony get in my way. I'm gonna fucking Oh, God, get here comes curse word. Growled. Get in line. That's panda Cloud. <laughs> Not God damn it, a uh, panda. Why do I freaking get those drink, two panda? mixed up? Luna chastised. No peril? Every pony slow the fuck down. Mommy barked. I can save the day. And to their credit, something in her tone caused them all to absolutely slow the fuck down. <sighs> Cygnus, I've got a little bit of page left. I'm gonna use it to do something a bit crazy. Be my guest, dear. Crazy is subjective these days. Touche. But Mom what the paused. hell, like, You're when she draws on him, that. how does that work out in the she end? She swiftly filled the remaining corner of Cygnus's book with a sketchy, but recognizable sight. A portal. A glowing sort. portal opened above them. Yay! We're free! Oh, the alicorns. Uh, Starry Flame. Uh, Liv Ilya? I think that's his name. Sorry. Rachel was annoying anyway. A resonant sigh pressed and there they the are. Wings, and two familiar alicorns appeared through the portal. Never fear, the alicorn army is here. Well, some of us. Uh, wherever here is. I think it's just those two. Starry looked around. You all yep. seem to have been rather busy since we saw you last, said Ilya lugubriously. <sighs> Don't start. <sighs> We've had such a Fucking day. Lost snarled. Uh, yeah. Wooten opened his mouth. Don't you even, Wooten! Scribbler snapped. Wooten, thinking better of it under the circumstances, shut his mouth. Good question. Mommy got to her hooks, or good, good, good tucking thing. her nub oh pencil God, behind her ear and trotted forward. Hi there, Mommy DeLugo. Nice to finally meet y'all. Could you perhaps fly me outside so I can finish saving the day and shit? Ilya and so it is mommy. Okay. Uh, just do as she says. Scribble Listen to the one who saved your life. She's the reason we're all ponies again instead of cheap paperback fiction. Okay, so 
getting the story behind that comment later, but for now... Starry ignited her horn and left wow, her she gap looks in the wall, like a mess. Beside her with her the only mouth. one that's not book or an out of book one yet is Cygnus. There's a giant green cat creature out here. It's called a sphinx, Starry dear. And Thunkle is in a cage. I can see that. And that castle behind us is made of books. Mm. Wow. So very getting the full story. Twilight there. would be proud. Oh, set me down here, please. And uh, stand by in case you need to get all lasery with your horns. Thornquill <laughs> rage yeah. responds as they descended. You. Yeah, oh dear. me. Hi. I don't think we were actually ever introduced. Mommy DeLugo, artist and ship poster extraordinaire. <clears throat> That's Midori, Goomboss's girlfriend, and apparently ancient creature of legend that every pony thought had died out centuries ago and who is totally going to fucking claim that fact later. Yeah, I'd like to know the fact behind this. It's a long story. Doubtless, but this one just crested the 15k word count and it's time to wrap things up already. Mommy okay. popped down, untucked her pencil, and drew a tiny series of images along the edge of Cygnus's last page. Okay. This time, the noise was not a slurp so much as a blorp, like the noise of a digestive biscuit, left a second too long in tea, breaking off and plopping back into the cup to sink into its caffeinated depths. Cygnus's hey, Cygnus. outline roiled for a moment, as if remembering how to form his proper shape. Well, now, that was an experience I shan't soon forget, or wish to replicate. He turned <laughs> to the cage. Thornquill. <sighs> Hello, Cygnus. Thornquill grunted. Cygnus paused. Actually, what am I supposed to say to you right now? Good I question. I feel I'm supposed to have a speech prepared about all the things you've done, but I'm fresh out of words of wisdom. Thornquill sank further into the collar of his cape. <sighs> Just leave me alone. Everything went wrong, okay? It was all supposed to be perfect this year, and then everything went wrong. He caught himself. I made everything go wrong. Even when I was trying to prevent yeah, there it, you I go. made it happen anyway. Yep. I guess I'll never be able to stop this cycle. I'm destined to always be trapped in this endless rotation of chaos and resetting to the status quo with me forever the butt monkey of these vapid attempts at comedy adventures. Are you... is he... crying? Midori's the enormous heck? feline behind hitting the ground made the entire landscape shudder. Hey, my butt isn't that big. Wow, this author sucks. Thorny. Cygnus's tone softened. I admit, when I transformed you into an alicorn, this wasn't quite what I had in mind for you to do with your powers. This is your fault? Mm, Technically, yes, yes. That's a conversation for later, I feel. Cygnus hastily returned his attention to Thornquill and away from the fluffing up Sphinx. This was meant to be catharsis and closure for you. It still is. Uh, what's the point? It's all going to reset again. We'll end things on a reversion to the status quo. Everyone will go back to Ponyville. There'll be one last funny scene of me getting my comeuppance. And then maybe a post-credits skit with Scribbler saying, She's never going to do this kind of thing again. Which she will, <laughs> because she always does. We. We always do. It'll happen again next year, and I'll... I'll just have to endure it, I guess. Now hold your motherfucking horses there, mister. Oh, come on. Admittedly, given uh. my ponies, I could have phrased that better. Yeah. Thornquill grudgingly swiveled to look at her. What? He asked dejectedly. <clears throat> just have to endure it? Excuse me for saying so, because I've been a fan of your narrator's work for ages, but fuck that. Huh? Seriously, fuck that forever. 
No pony has to endure a shitty situation just because they feel like they're obligated to. So you didn't exactly deal with your stress of being in a shitty situation in an altogether healthy manner. You can say that again. But that doesn't mean you have to give up and accept reality as it is. What else am I supposed to do? The universe has spoken. I'm destined to live each April being comedy's punchline. <laughs> With emphasis on the punching. The universe can fuck off too. And destiny can fuck off. And fate can fuck off. And kismet can fuck off. And predestination can absolutely fuck off. I'm sensing a theme here, said Ilya mildly. <sighs> it's a nice sentiment. And I appreciate you trying to comfort me when I was attempting to turn you into books half an hour ago. But, seriously, what else am I supposed to do but accept that this is the way things are and will always be? <sighs> no. I tried to beat the system. And I lost. Fuck the system! Fuck the system! Star <clears throat> punched the air. What? Just because I'm cute and small means I can't like system of a down? And now I have to draw you in a leather jacket and lots of facial jewelry at some point. Posed on a massive what? motorcycle. But that's for a later date. Ah, uh, I'm the fear. You need to make me look the part at least. Starry, you're getting off topic. Ilya yeah, shouted. good, good, Sorry, good. Ilya. I just yeah. really like the idea of her being able to draw to life anything she can imagine. I mean, how cool is that? Oh dear you God, don't give her ideas. You're already best friends with a number of authors who already write reality to match their whims, yes? I know, but art is so much cooler. Scribbler won't use her meta running pals to make me anything cool because she says I can't be trusted with Sharma decks. And the one time I asked Magpie, she wrote me into <clears> a fairy tale as an adorable princess. I don't mean to look cuter, I am the fear. Of course you are, dear. Don't <laughs> patronize me. Wouldn't dream of it. But an artist like Mammy could do so sarcastic. much cool stuff they wouldn't let me have. And if she worked with other artists, they could use all their meta art powers. Oh wow, can you imagine? So many possibilities. They're like endless. Starry practically fizzed uh, at the oh. possibilities. Monty tapped her chin. Actually, you may have just given me an idea of how to rectify this whole situation. <laughs> rectify. Ugh, Midori. What? Okay. And once again, the day is saved thanks to the narrators of the My Little Pony fandom. Okay. So there's one more part to go, and that's the rectification of basically Thornquill. Written by Scribbler. Audio and visual editing by Scribbler. The voice talents of the Wilsonator. Story Color Supreme. Mummy the Lugo saved the day, then changed the name to Hooney. Midori Ancient Sphinxes are adorable. New script. Oh! Pinkie Pie, duh. Uh, Cloud9 Rainbow Dash loves Pinkie in this pic, apparently. It's a panda, precious godly pony. Cloud9 not quite a changeling. Quill and Lens, Steve saved the day in his head. Midori always listens to her wise old grandma. Thorn Quill, what's in store for him, I wonder. Scribbler, regrets everything ever. The Lost Narrator, currently book burning. Magpie Pony saves her fames. Favorite books from Luxury's Bonfire. Shadow of Sickness, Sultry Voiced Archivist, Goody, Mwah Wah Wah Wah. I can't read that fast. Cutie Pie Extraordinaire on a motorbike. What the fudge? Um, lots of familiar names here from like Pinky Tails and all that stuff. In the past. Okay, so I have no idea where this is going. Something to do with analysts, apparently. I don't know. Okay. End song so happy by Raven and Crane. Also, there I am at the bottom again. 
below Mommy DeLugo's uh, girlfriend? I just look so spazzed. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> Where am I? How did this happen to me? Alright, that was uh, Better Love Stories in the Twilight 4, Alathornication, part 5 of 6. So, th the day is saved, but man, this one was... <laughs> this one was different by far, but... This is the first time I've ever made like an uh like an actual cameo appearance. Even if it's just one, I don't really care. I made a cameo appearance, and that's all that matters. But yeah, this one was done really well. I like how it had a lot of like Dragon Ball Z themes, and was a lot of fun to just watch. I mean, I'm not sure where they're going with the rectification, if that's even a goddamn word, uh, of Thornquill and his actions. But yeah, I get the joke. Basically, there was a blooper on Scribbler's blooper reel for the last one, Better Love Story in the Twilight 3, where he basically says that he was, uh, his character was um, basically pushed to the point of where he's just a character that screams and cries and it's just like the comedy relief or something like that. Something along those lines. But, yeah, I don't know where the hell they're going, where the hell this is going in part 6, but... Thank you to the artist who actually, you know, cameoed me. I mean, honestly, I'm trying to keep the giddiness in because I don't like to fanboy about this because, uh, yeah, I just don't like to do that because I don't want to seem like, you know, ah, I got mentioned in Scribbler's thingy dingy. You know, I don't like to be that kind of guy. I like to just kind of keep my composure and just say, hey, that's cool. I made a cameo appearance. But nevertheless, thank you for including me. Um... Yeah, I've been getting, like, notifications like crazy on Twitter because uh, I mentioned it and I'm tagged in it. So, yeah, this is, this is, this one was really good. Uh, compared to last year's um, one where, <laughs> where Wooten made the castle of Ludity. I don't even know if that's technically a word. Oh, shit, goddammit. I probably won't even have my bars in. This is too long. But, yeah, this one was just good. Um... Uh, I enjoy it. I have no idea where they're going with this, but Mommy DeLugo saves the day because she is an artist that can draw really well and can apparently somehow, uh, like, Magpie basically saved the day with the, the Castle of Ludity by doing uh, with something to do with uh, Princess Trixie Sparkle. I can't remember what she did, per se, but she... She did something, I just can't remember what it was, but she basically saved the day by doing something that had to do with, like, narration or something to do with, like, you know, Princess Tricky Sparkle, I'm not really sure what it was. But, yeah, this was good. Don't know where the hell it's going, but thank you for the cameo appearance, and, yeah, that's literally all I can say about this. Um, all I've got left is the plugs, so bear with me. If you guys are interested, I have a, um, a Grimdark... Uh, like audiobook on my Gumroad account. The link is in the description, but you do need a debit card or um, credit card to purchase this. It does come with a price tag of $10. So if you want to go check that out, be my guest. Uh, it would really help to support me and support the channel because all of the money goes straight to, to the channel. It doesn't go anywhere else. But you know, that's all I've got in, in you know, and if you guys haven't checked out like the latest reading, I'm sorry, Twilight. Um, go check it out. It's it's a three part series that I'm working on, and yeah, I'm yeah, it's a good one. So make sure to go check that out. the The link will be in the description. It'll probably be on the end screen. But thank you guys for watching, and remember to stay isolated, stay safe, and yeah, happy horse until the next time, and make sure to take care.